many times in life we have the opportunity to help someone to go forward, to help someone rise, to help someone be, well, really fly. And what you're doing is saying, you know, I have skills that are mine, but I see skills in you and talents in you that are really, really wise. And because of that, I'm going to come to you. Because of that, I'm going to support you. Because of that, I'm going to believe in you. And because of that, I'm just going to say, you know, I'm going to trust in God here. I'm hearing a voice saying it's time for me to go. I'm hearing a voice that's saying it's time for me to help. I'm hearing a voice that says I'm going to help with what the person longs to do. And if the person just simply needs to eat, I can help them do that. But I'm not going to go out in some city and buy them some treat because it's not my right to choose for them what they want to eat. We hate it when people do that for us. There are some players that don't mind that because they see it as charity. They see it as loving kindness. I'm not one of those people. Because I have so many allergies, I almost always have to reject the food. And even the other day, as you heard from my story in the previous one on God's Wrap, that I literally had to play out the reality that I was hungry, I needed to eat, but I knew what would happen to my body when I ate it because of my allergy. But I have the right, as the medical representative of my whole life, to decide whether or not everything else that I'd eaten that day would offset anything positively that I might do in the evening. You see, living in poverty and pulling yourself out of, well, cyber attack and cyber crime and uh, fraud on your life and identity theft on your life is sort of hard because the players who are doing the worst to you, they hear that you've been some through something and then they just want to do more to you because they're so jealous that you might rise. And you look at those little players and go, what are you functioning I don't know, you tell me you're somewhere 36 to 40, but you certainly look like you're functioning between age 8 and maybe 13 or 14. Because a selfish child doesn't want someone else to rise. And a selfish child of God does not help our world to be at peace. And a selfish child does not promote Christ in any loving way. No matter what religion you practice today. Today you might be Christian, tomorrow you might be Wiccan, and that's okay with God because all religions... As long as it's not dark magic, dark witchcraft, deeply seated Satan of selfishness and badassness is not okay with God. But if you love the Lord, if you honor Christ, then you know what is and isn't true. And what isn't isn't true for you may not be what isn't isn't true for someone else. And here's what we know about God's production of the human life. That when God produces a human life, he waits to the last second, not at all, depending on the history of time that the human body is coming into the society in which it will live. Long ago, he might have put the soul in at the beginning. But today, because of all the technology, today because of all the music that people listen to at odd, oddly loud decibels, he might not be doing it that way. But at the same time, we know that the human body has defects that can be caused some harm on a child coming through the womb. We also know that when people change their mind about things, it totally ruin someone's... Jesus Christ. What the fuck is she thinking about?